This is Bank Sense, the podcast that makes sense of all things banking. If there's something you don't understand about banking or finances, you're not alone. Our industry experts are bringing you informative and enjoyable conversations to break down bank jargon and dive into hot button financial topics. And now, BOS, a community bank located across Illinois and Missouri, presents Bank Sense. Here's your host, Gregory Morantz. Hello, and welcome back to Bank Sense, the podcast that makes sense of all things banking. I'm your host, Greg Morant, Senior Vice President here at the Bank of Springfield. And on today's episode, I'm excited to talk to you about credit scores, credit health, and your financial journey. On today's episode, we're excited to have a reoccurring guest on today, Monica Dyson, our Chief Marketing Officer here in Springfield. Monica, welcome. Thank you, Greg. Good to be here. So if you haven't had the opportunity yet, I highly suggest you go back to season one of Bank Sense and listen to our original podcast that we recorded together about the basics of budgeting. Um, it really gets you off to a good foundation and start uh, to your financial journey and gives you some tips and tricks um, about how to make good financial decisions for yourself. And today's episode really leads right into the next step uh, to that, and that's credit health and credit scores. Um, so tell us, we obviously are very familiar with it here at the bank, but what is a credit score? So we hear that term a lot, um, and what a credit score is, is is just a numeric value assigned to your credit history. So they're looking at your history of paying your debts or paying bills and whether or not you pay those on time and, and make those payments as you agreed to when you originally signed up for that account. So that that's all it is. It's just a, a numeric value. There are different scoring systems but they're all the same general idea. It's just assigning a numeric value to that history. Okay, and I'm, I'm assuming, like most things, the higher your credit score is, the better it is. Correct, correct. So a higher score means that you've shown that you do pay those bills and you pay them on time, and you're more likely to continue to do so in the future. Okay, so you're talking about these bills that you pay that help mm-hmm. establish your credit score. Mm-hmm. What exactly is included in a credit score? Because I know it's a it's a you know a variety of different things. So it's a little bit of everything. So it it's your credit history. So are you paying things on time? Um, the amount that you owe. So it's going to look at your total o or excuse me your total that you owe versus how much credit was extended to you. So whether it's the original loan amount or like on a credit card, what's your credit limit? And it's going to look at how much of that credit you're using and whether you're using it wisely. Um, Also, the length of your credit history. So a shorter history, obviously, you haven't established as much of, of that history to show that you will make those payments on time. So the longer history is more valuable, but you've got to start somewhere. So, so definitely get started. Um, the new credit inquiries. So you hear that a lot. If, if I have somebody, if I apply for something, are they going to look at my credit and is that going to hurt my score? It does. It's, it's less than the other things, but it does affect your credit. So you don't want to go out and apply for a lot of things that you don't need to. And then the last thing is the credit mix. So is it installment loans? So that's going to be like your car loans and your student loans um, versus credit cards. And and are you doing both and showing that you can handle both of those the way you should be? Yeah. And there's, as you can tell, just from that brief explanation, there's a lot that goes into the credit score. I wish we could cover it all, but it really goes into a lot of detail too. And and I know you talked a lot about uh, what you refer to as the credit utilization rate, about how much of that credit do you have out there and how much you're using it. Um, and I know that's a very important aspect. Um, you know, one quick tip is if you are applying for credit cards or applying for a loan, you know, if you get, you know, denied for a credit card, um, it might not be the best option to go out and reapply for another one right away. You know, maybe look at how can I improve my credit score or how can I make sure I'm not denied? Because that, that can be a ding on your on your credit score as well that you got to keep a close eye on. Absolutely. The, the more inquiries are, don't look favorable because it looks like you're trying to establish more and more credit. So you want to look at what you already have out there and how you can improve on that maybe to, to increase your score before you try applying again. Yeah. So you're, you, know, you have all these details about your, about your credit and you're paying your bills on time. You're doing a great job, but what, why do you need a credit score anyways? I mean, why is it so important? Um, and obviously from a banking perspective, we know why it's important, but Explain to us and our, our listeners why is a credit score so important uh, uh, for, for your financial well-being? Absolutely. So there are a lot of situations, a lot of things that companies that go back and look at your credit score to make a decision. So obviously the, the, the big one for us as a financial institution is for lending, whether it be an, an installment loan like we talked about or a credit card. We're going to look at that score. That's not only going to determine whether you qualify for something, but it's also in some some instances going to determine the rate that you qualify for. So 
the higher the risk, the lower the credit score, the higher the risk for the banks that we're going to charge more for that loan versus somebody who has a well-established credit. So keep that in mind. Um, also, everything from land, landlords to mobile phone contracts to um, insurance may run credit reports to determine rates also. Um, and even um, some employers when you're uh, applying for a job. They, yeah, really. Absolutely. They, they may pull a credit score just to see what your history is and, and whether you're showing that you're able to, to manage your, your things properly. Yeah. So. And I think one of the important things that I'd like to point out is, especially from a banking perspective, is we don't think of it just as a number because it's not necessarily as simple as that. When we pull your credit report, we're going to look at the full credit report and look at the different inquiries and the different loans you have out there. And, you know, maybe when you were in college, you had an outstanding medical bill that you just slipped your mind, you forgot and went 30 days late. Well, that can actually, you know, make a big difference on your credit report. But if that wasn't included in there, you would have a perfect credit score potentially. Right. So that's one thing I know as a bank, we always try to look into more of the details and not just limit it to that number because sometimes the, the smallest mistake can um, cause a bigger issue down the line. And that more recent history, obviously, is going to be a lot more valuable to us. So, yes, we, we can dig into the details and see what went into that score instead of just plugging a number in and moving on. Yeah. So, you're, you know, you're about to apply for a credit card or apply for a loan, but you're nervous about your credit score. If you have enough, you know, established history or, um, you know, if it's a good score or not. Is there an easy way to find out what your credit score is uh, without you know going through a loan process first? There is. So everyone is entitled to a free credit report each year. So if you go to annualcreditreport.com, um, that is a free service. It uh, uses all three of the major credit, credit bureaus, which are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, and you're able to see what those reports show. I encourage you, even if you're not applying for credit, to uh, keep an eye on those and, and go out and, and check those. Um, also, a lot of banks and uh, credit card issuers are now offering that service for free where you can go in and see what your score is. Um, the bank offers a, a service where you can actually monitor your credit. It'll keep you updated on whether your score is going up, your score is going down, things that you can do to improve your score that would, would help you out. So there are a lot a lot of tips out there now it's a lot easier to get that information but um, encourage everybody to, to take a look at it and then have an idea where your score is yeah i think it's really important to keep an eye on that and obviously the bank the the product that the bank offers is called credit sense um you know whatever the listener might use um, for a bank or a credit card they might have their own you know type of monitoring device um, on those credit scores that you should enroll in and we highly suggest you enroll in those they're super important, obviously, to keep an eye on your credit score to make sure you know you didn't miss a payment, but also for identity fraud reasons, which we won't get fully into today. But you know, if you're keeping a close eye on your credit score and you see these other you know potential loans being open for you, there could be some fraud on the back end. So it's just good to keep a, a close eye on your credit score and monitor it as frequently as possible. Absolutely. So get that report and don't just look at the number and, and move on. Look at um, are those loans that are out there, things that are listed in my name, are they ones that I'm familiar with? And also just the inquiries, just recent inquiries, are those things that you recognize or, or is there something happening? Has somebody gotten a hold of your information and trying to open those accounts in your name? So absolutely keep an eye on it and keep on top of it. Yeah, and the other big thing that I just want to point out as well is when you're using these types of services, they're doing what's called a soft inquiry. Correct. So where if you're applying for a loan, they're going to do a hard inquiry, and that's what actually counts towards potentially um, reducing your credit score. Um, you don't want too many hard inquiries, but the soft right. inquiries don't do, um, the, for lack of a better word, the damage that a hard inquiry might. Right. So it's kind of a view only is what you're getting. You're just, you're just looking at it. You're not necessarily pulling the true report. Now that we've talked all about credit scores, how do we go in into building a good credit history? And what are some tips there? Absolutely. So we've we've hit on it multiple times. Timely payments is is very important that you're not only making those payments, that you're making them on time and showing that history of, of following through with that. Um, planning to pay off debt. So if you're carrying a lot of debt, um, obviously that's that's not is not the ideal. So make a plan to pay that off. Um, we always say look at what you're paying the highest rates on. That's usually what you want to pay off first unless there's something with a small manageable budget that you can knock out pretty quick and then you may want to pay that off first. So have a plan, know what know what it is you want to do with your credit. 
Um, if you are carrying monthly credit card balances, try and get those paid down because obviously, again, we talked about the credit usage, so it's better to, to have more credit available to you and not be maxing out those cards. So don't carry that balance. Um, only apply for cards that you need. Um, the store credit cards are great. They have, you, know, you can get discounts, you can get coupons, you can get different things, but you don't need one everywhere you shop. Mm -hmm. And that stuff really starts to add up and, and won't look good against, against your credit. So um, keep an eye on that and, and keep that in mind every time they offer you a discount at the checkout line. You don't need every one of those cards. And then the last we talked about monitoring your credit report and your credit score and just staying on top of it. It's a lot easier to get something fixed if it's more recent. If you get farther into history back and, and realize that something's an error, it's a lot harder to get it fixed the longer it's gone. So just stay on top of it. Yeah, and, and one thing I just want to briefly touch on too is there's a lot of a, a, you know maybe a negative stigma uh, with credit cards, but it's one of the easiest ways to help establish credit too. So I mean, I highly suggest um, if you have a credit card, make sure you pay that off every month. Um, and there's a lot of uh, things out there now with different rewards that you can get. You mentioned the store credit cards, but if you are interested in getting into any rewards with credit cards, you need to pay that card off every month for it to actually be worth it. Because if you're carrying a balance on there and paying interest, then it's not worth it as much either. And so. a lot of times those are higher rate cards if you, if you take a good look at them. So always pay attention to what those rates are. Um, the other thing I want to mention are secure credit cards. So for those people who are just starting to establish a credit card and maybe don't qualify because you don't have that credit history, keep in mind there are secure credit cards. Um, Bank of Springfield offers one also. So what you do is, is put a deposit down and then you would have that much to use as a credit card. So it comes in handy. A lot of places, there are times when you just plain need a credit card, whether you're booking a hotel or you know something along that line. So those are always an option to keep in mind for people who haven't established that credit history yet and are looking for a way to do so. And I think that brings up a really good point is if you have questions about how to establish credit um, or you just, you know, just any questions in general about credit and how to improve it, go to your local bank. And Absolutely. ask them that question because they can help guide you with, you know, a, a secured credit card, as you mentioned, or a CD secured loan. There's multiple ways that we can help, you know, build credit. Um, so it's really important, as we always say in this podcast, is to ask that question. Don't be afraid to ask it. Absolutely. Because our bankers and our staff get those questions all the time, as well as any bank. We have um, a lot of resources, so... Yep. Please so, reach out and use them. Yeah. And, and credit scores can be a very intimidating issue. And so that's why we really wanted to touch on that today. Um, as always with our listeners, we really hope you had at least one or two good takeaways. Um, I think this is a great episode because credit scores are you know, very intimidating and very complicated as well because there's just a lot that goes into them. Um, Monica, thank you for your time and thank you for coming on today um, to talk about credit scores and, and credit, credit health. Um, uh, with regards to our financial journey, um, I think it's a really important piece. Uh, we really appreciate you, um, you coming on today. Thank you. As always, thanks for listening to the Bank Sense Podcast, the podcast that makes sense of all things banking. Until next time. Is there something about banking that doesn't make sense to you? Submit your questions to us on Instagram Messenger or by email, banksense at bankwithbos.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below. We're happy to give you our two cents on a wide range of topics. Thank you for listening on Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. And please leave us a five-star rating and review so we can continue to bring you more educational content. Thank you for listening, and we hope you join us on the next episode of Bank Sense.